Good evening, Dr. Seitz. You know, I've been seeing a lot of machines on the market now who claim to uh, have a solution for fighting the COVID and coronavirus. Uh, they look pretty sleek. You know, they are, are obviously advertising HEPA filtration. Some have these virus killing filters, UVC lighting. Uh, but I've also heard you say that there's some deficiencies in the machines that they don't really address the issue of cross-contamination of the virus. But now I know that the Blue Sky machine has HEPA installed, so what am I missing here? Uh, yes, this is a very, very important question, James. Um, it's probably best if I draw the problem. Okay, so the principle of all these machines, and I'm just focusing briefly on the machine, is that you have your box and air is being drawn into this box something is happening in the box which is the sterilization the filtration all the magic happens inside the box and then the air comes out of the box so air in air in air out and this is the magic and you're right a lot of um, technology that's out there does quite a good job inside and the boxes look really sleek. The issue is not in that box. The issue is that the overall system is wrong. In other words, this system does not solve the problem of COVID cross infection. And why? What causes people to get sick is that and I'm just going to take an example of two people in a row. One person is sitting over here and working, and there's another person sitting over here and working. This is actually a recorded case, well documented. It's, it's, you can Google in the media. And what was happening in this particular environment is that the air conditioning was blowing the air very gently from one side of the room to the other. We call that cross flow. Classic example of cross flow that you may have heard at home. You open the door, you open the window, and the air blows across the room. That is standard ventilation and air conditioning systems work that way. The problem is, and it's quite obvious, let's say this person has an infection. It's set in COVID infection. They are starting, and you may have bad luck, but they are what is called a super spreader. Maybe this is a person that is really going to make a lot of people sick if they're on the same room. So what happens now is with this cross draft, this COVID is being spread across the room in this horizontal flow. So when they've done studies of people in rooms, they were able to establish that aerosol was the cross infection using computer programs that modeled it and noticed that COVID had spread from the sick person following the air currents. Okay, so James, the last thing you want to do is to take those viruses that are being breathed out and push them across to somebody. And the problem is, here stands the fancy machine. And this fancy machine is drawing the air sideways. Go and look at their websites. All the machines show the air being sucked this way. Now I'm going to give you the key to everything. It's so interesting. Aeroplanes. This year, 2020, the disaster year for COVID, there were hundreds of millions of people who took flights. Maybe 5 million flights have taken place, transatlantic, trans-Pacific between countries or just within the United States. People have spent hours and hours on a plane. A plane is a confined space. It's a tube with lots and lots of people inside. James, in all these cases of flights, there has not been one single, let's say 350 million people have actually been in planes. One person may have been multiple times, of course, but there were 350 million individual opportunities for people to catch the virus through the spreading mechanism. It spread in churches, it spread in, in restaurants, it spread at works, works in buses everywhere, right? Meatpacking plants. In planes? Zero. 
no cross infection because something very very important happens in all the commercial jetliners they have downflow the air in the plane does not move with horizontal flow it moves down number one and number two the air is exchanged which means new air is brought in 15 times an hour so the key things to learn from aircraft remember zero cross infections is that they don't have cross flow they have down flow and I'm gonna go back to that other drawing in a minute and 15 air changes a minute and within those air changes there sits the HEPA filter so what to think about 15 air changes Downflow, not cross flow, and HEPA filtration. The sad thing, James, is today everybody is running for the box because it's the easy, cheap thing to buy and it looks cool. But this is where success takes place. So I'm going to give you an example of a school very, very quickly. Think about this. This could be a school, it could be a church, it could be a gymnasium, it could be a pharmacy area it could be anywhere that public space where people meet right but let's take the example of our school where our kids are our teachers let's say they put a HEPA filtration system right in the middle of the classroom and here the kids are there are their tables here's the teacher maybe at the blackboard Maybe that teacher walks around the classroom to see how that child is doing. Doesn't matter. But here we have everybody sitting. And maybe there's some bad luck. And this child is not sick, is the spreader of the virus. Or maybe this teacher. And what is happening in the school is that this machine is sucking the air in horizontally to filter it. It's sucking it across the classroom. If you go into the advertising of these companies, you will see it's all cross flow. With Blue Sky, we don't say that. We say, bring in a Blue Sky machine, put it outside the classroom or inside the classroom, bring the air across the top of the classroom. We have powerful machines. You want to cycle the air at least 15 times an hour and suck out the air at strategic points. We will help do this. You want to have the air moving from top to bottom and not left to right. So to summarize, James, you need high changes of air. These smaller machines can't keep up. You need to have downflow so that you don't spread the virus from one person to another before it gets to the machine. And finally, you need the HEPA filtration with the systems that we've integrated to clean the air before it's put back into the public space. And that's what the Blue Sky system is. We are producing the same environment as aircraft has, as surgical units have. Downflow ventilation. Remember, all those flights, not a single cross infection ever recorded.